Hi guys, it's Mike here from KS Bushcraft Down Under. Today I thought I'd sh share with you a skill. Now, this is inherently dangerous, okay? This is one of those things that you do and you have to, not for fun. So in front of me I've got a 1991 Suzuki Vitara, petrol manual. And I want to show you how to use the rear wheel as a hand crank to start it. Okay? So last week I was in a car park and I was watching some young guys trying to bump start a car. And I thought, what they are they doing? So when you bump start on a, on a hard surface rolling along, you slip in second gear, get a bit of velocity to the, to the car, pop the clutch out with the ignition on and hopefully she starts. Providing that your problem was just the starter motor. And the guy in the car was sitting there turning the key expecting something to magically happen as his mates were having a small coronary. Yeah? So uh, <laughs> Poppy he had to step in and show him how it was actually done. Now modern cars with computers and all that they won't start without any battery. So a car like this will electronic ignition as long as there's enough power to uh, light up the dash lights you should be able to get it to go. So I've got the front wheels chopped because one it's on a slight slope and the handbrake's off. So um, now I've got it on a, a jack stand at the rear. Okay guys so you can see I've got it supported on the jack stand the car jack's just sitting there. So the opposite wheel is on the ground so that's really important. Now this does not have a limited slip differential nor a diff lock so it's an open diff. The guys, so handbrake is off. It's in high two-wheel drive and the gear selector is in uh, fourth. This is a five-speed box. Each car will be a bit different. Some five speeds, fifth is just one-to-one -one ratio. Some it's uh, you know, like 120%. So, uh, said each car will be different. So, this should work for this little car. So, I've got you guys looking at the engine bay. Carbureted vehicle. So, if you normally pump your accelerator once to set the choke, and the accelerator pump puts a little squirt of fuel in, if that's what you normally do, do that now. Okay? Just Pop the accelerator once, as I would normally do. I've still got the ignition switched off. Alright, so the ignition is off, but I've squirted fuel into the system. Now I want to introduce the fuel and air mix into the car without it running. Okay? So I'll leave you guys to watch the fan, and you should see it turn. I can't see it both at the same time. Breaking down this end. So, fingers, no legs under the car, none of that. Try and keep back from it. So, you want to go in the direction of travel. Alright, so what we've done, we've turned the engine over, we've got the fuel there, and now the exciting part. So, wheels chocked, handbrake off, we've done all that. Dashlights are on, it's all good. This is where we are awfully bloody careful. So there we are guys, there we are. Well guys, I hope you found that useful. I mean with modern vehicles, ABS, traction control and all this type of stuff, 
It's probably a thing of the past. I mean, back in the 80s, I got stuck with a 40 series Toyota where the battery failed on corrugations and it failed completely. And I actually used that system and a bunch of uh, torch batteries taped together to power up the coil to get me out of trouble. Okay? There was no way I was managing to bump start a 40 series Toyota on soft ground on my own. Anyway guys, the channel's just passed a million views, so it's quite a milestone. And uh, thanks to your support and views, I've got there. Anyway guys, take care out there, and I shall see you next time.